Um, yeah. Let's actually start. I actually, um, I've really been liking starting standing up. So let's go ahead and start with a nice tall stance in front of our mat. Okay. So let's go ahead and actually stand about inner hip distance apart because we're going to go into a forward fold too, okay? So what I want you to do is just, you know, still grow tall to the crown of your head, okay? Go ahead and inhale those shoulders up to our ears. As you exhale, pull them back and send them down your spine, okay? Tuck that pelvis under, engage that core, arms down at your side. Just take a deep breath in through your nose, expand those lungs to open up that heart. Root down to the soles of your feet. <clears throat> Okay, full, complete exhales through your nose, okay? I want you to just to right it from the get-go, engage that ujjayi breath, okay? So get that breath of life going right now, you know, constrict it to the back of your throat, okay? Expand those lungs. Open that heart, okay? Nice, deep inhales through your nose. As you exhale, I want to sound like the waves of an ocean crashing onto the shore of your favorite beach. Okay. Go ahead and take one more deep breath in here. Nice tall mountain pose. Full complete exhale. Headphones. Okay. And inhale those arms up to the sky. Lengthen through those fingertips. As you exhale, I want you to swan dive down and just hang heavy over your straight legs, okay? Put a gentle micro bend into those knees, okay? Go ahead and grab opposite elbows. Let yourself sway side to side like a rag doll if you need to. I just want you to begin to lengthen the backs of your hamstrings. Open up that low back, okay? Turn those toes slightly inwards like I have you do when you're in downward facing dog, okay? Just gently rotate those thigh bones to open up those hips. Nice deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, I want you to scoop that low belly out. Okay, remember, you're already engaging that ujjayi breath. You're expanding those lungs. You're constricting that breath at the back of your throat, okay? Slowly releasing it through your nose. Let that internal heat begin to fire up right away. I know you think you're on mute, but I cannot, I do not want to hear my breath over anything else. I want to hear your breath over the sound of my breath and my voice. Okay, deep inhales, full complete exhales. All right, go ahead and release those hands down to the floor. Come halfway up on your inhale. As you exhale, plant that left hand down, bend into that left knee. Inhale that right arm up to the sky. Really peel that right shoulder open so your chest is facing the sky. Exhale, bring that right hand down in front of your gaze. Bend the right knee. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Open up. Okay, lengthen wherever you can. Exhale, bring that left hand back down two more times on both sides. Inhale, right arm goes up, really reach through those fingertips. Exhale, plant that right hand down, switch sides. Inhale, left arm goes up, bend into that right knee, open the left side of your body. Exhale, come back down one more time. Inhale, that right arm up, open and lengthen. Exhale, root down through the palm of that hand. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, I want you to step your feet farther apart, sway those toes out, bend those knees, and come into Buddha squat. Okay, bring those palms together at heart center. Push those elbows into your knees. Open up those hips. Okay, nice deep breath in through your nose. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Push through the soles of your feet, okay? Deep breath in. Full complete exhales out. 
Ujjayi breath, don't lose it. Even if we're not fully moving right now, I still want you to build that fire from the inside out. Okay, on your next inhale, I want you to straighten those legs, fold forward, standing forward fold. Then inhale, bend those knees, play those toes, come back into Buddha squat. Okay. Exhale, parallel the feet, straighten those legs, fold forward. Inhale, Buddha squat, bend those knees, play those toes out. Okay, one more time, straighten the legs, fold forward. Okay, bend those knees, Buddha squat, nice tall spine. Okay, exhale, plant those hands, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold again. And then inhale, rise up, bring those arms over your head, extend through those fingertips. Grab that left wrist, lift up on that wrist, exhale, side bend to your right, kick that left hip out. Inhale to center. Let's go ahead and grab that right wrist, lift up and exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, back to center, lean back and open up. Exhale, swine dive down. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen that spine. As you exhale, plant those hands, step back to the top of your plank. Shift that weight forward so your shoulders are past your wrist. Then lower down, tuck the elbows in toward your side. Inhale to lengthen through that chest, open that heart, lift those thighs up off of the mat. Exhale, engage your core, tuck those toes, lift those hips into the air, downward facing dog. Be nice deep breath in through your nose, so lengthen through that spine, hike up those hips. Exhale, push that weight back towards your heels and the chest towards your thighs, scoop out that low belly. Remember, also turn those toes slightly inwards. Open up those hip flexors, rotate those thigh bones. Deep Inhale through your nose, lengthen as much as you can. Exhale, push that chest closer towards your thighs, scoop out the low belly. Breathe as deep as you've ever breathed before. Now on your next inhale, rise onto those toes, look in between your hands. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold forward and melt. Inhale to rise up, bring those arms over your head, reach through those fingertips. Grab that left wrist, take a bend over to the right. Inhale to center, grab the right wrist, take a bend over to the left. Inhale to center, lean back, let that head drop in between your shoulders. Exhale, hand at the waist, melt forward. Halfway up to lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant those hands, step or jump back. Shift the weight forward, tuck those elbows into your sides as you bend and lower down. Inhale, lift that chest and that gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck the toes downward facing dog. Hike those hips into the air. Push the weight back towards your heels. Maybe lift all 10 toes up off the mat. It'll try to help you to bring that weight back towards your heels. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, tuck that chin towards your chest. One more deep breath in here. Full complete exhale. As you inhale, rise onto those toes, send that gaze in between your hands. Exhale, step or jump in front of your mat. Lift and lengthen, then root down and melt. And then we rise up again, bring those arms up over our head. Exhale, take it to the right. Come back to center. Exhale, take it to the left. Inhale, back to center, lean back, open up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant those hands, slip or jump back. Shift forward, lower down. Just to rise up again as you breathe in. To root down as you exhale. Okay, hike those hips up. Let me hear your breath. Okay, there's no music today, so you have no choice but to use your breath as your music. Okay. 
Create your dance with this vinyasa flow that we're going to be doing. Inhale, rise onto those toes. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen that spine. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, to rise up, bring those arms over your head, extend through those fingertips. Bend into those knees. Tuck that pelvis under, engage your core. Look down, can you see your toes? If not, send that seat back just a little bit. Deep breath in to lengthen through those fingertips. As you exhale, open to the right, send that arm back behind you. Inhale, back to center, lengthen through those fingertips. Exhale, open to the left. Okay, inhale to center. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Twist to the right. Put that elbow outside the right knee. Inhale, breathe in. Open those arms. Right arm up to the sky. Left arm towards your right heel. Exhale, bring them back together. Come through to center. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, come back to prayer. Hook that right elbow outside the left. Twist open. Splay those arms as you take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring them back together, come to center. Inhale, all the way up, lean back and open that heart. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up to lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, we're actually gonna come into crow pose. So bend those knees, bring them onto the back of your triceps, okay? Shift the weight forward. Even if you are not familiar with crow, at least try to shift your weight forward onto those hands. Maybe you lift a toe, maybe you lift a whole foot, maybe you lift both feet. Okay, just try. Deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, I want you to jump and shoot those legs back if you're in the pose. And lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale to send that gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck those toes down for facing dog. From here, set that right foot to the front of your mat. Pivot down on your back heel. Keep those hips squared off to the short end of your mat. Inhale, those arms up to the sky, reach through those fingertips, push down to the blade side of your left foot. Exhale, open up to a warrior two. Bend into that right knee, pull that left hip behind you, okay? Then the right hip forward. Square those hips off to the long edge of your mat. Soften your shoulders. Lengthen through your fingertips. <laughs> Fly like that bird. Lean forward, hinge at the waist. Put that palm, reverse your warrior. Lengthen through that right hand. Okay. Exhale. Bring that left hand down to the mat. Pivot it off the back heel. Come into dragonfly twist. Peel that right shoulder open towards the sky. Exhale. Plant that right hand down. Step your right leg back. Don't let it come down. We're going to do one legged chaturanga. So shift forward, then lower down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale. Downward facing dog. From here, set the left foot through to the front of your mat. So down that back heel, square those hips. Rise up to warrior one. Push down to the blade side of your right foot. As you exhale, pull that right hip back behind you. Open up to warrior two. Okay, hinge forward. Flip that palm. Reverse your warrior as you take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, windmill those hands down. Plant the right hand. Inhale, left arm up to the sky, dragging fly twist. Exhale, plant that left hand down. Just the left foot back, keep it up. Lower down one legged chaturanga. Inhale to either cobra or your up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, or you can always come into child's pose for a few breaths here, okay? Remember, if you lost your breath, I need you to come back to it. This is the most important part of your practice, okay? The very existence of what yoga is all about. Connecting with your breath, using your breath to connect with your body, okay? So, focus on those slow, deep inhales and those slow, deep exhales. Remember, we're still engaging that ujjayi breath, okay? Constricting at the back of the throat. Expanding those lungs. Maybe warming our bodies up from the inside out. Inhale, rise onto those toes. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to fold. Bend those knees, raise those arms up over your head, reach through those fingertips. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center, lift those arms up. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale to center. 
As you exhale, those hands come to prayer. Hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Inhale, splay those arms open, right arm to the sky. Exhale, bring those palms back together. Come back through the center. Inhale to chair. Exhale, back to prayer. Hook that right elbow and twist open. Splay those arms as you take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, bring those palms back together. Come back through the center. Inhale to chair. Stand up. Lean back. Exhale, fold forward. <clears throat> Inhale, halfway up. Don't forget that crow pose. Plant those hands, okay? Try to bring those knees onto the back of your arms. Okay, shift that weight forward. Maybe lift those toes up off the mat. Okay, deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhale out. Good job, that is awesome. Deep breath in. Exhale, shoot it back. Lower down. Inhale, open that chest as they gaze toward the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step that right foot to the front of your mat, put it down on the back heel. Rise up to warrior one. Exhale, soften into warrior two, bend into that knee. Hinge forward, flip that palm, reverse your warrior, lengthen that right side body. Exhale, plant the left hand, peel the right arm open, drag and fly twist. Exhale, plant that hand. Float that right leg back. One like a chaturanga. Inhale, two, your cobra or up dog. Exhale, down, we're facing dog. Step that left foot to the front of your mat. Pivot down, rise up. Warrior one, lengthen through those fingertips. Soften into your warrior two. Hinge forward, flip that palm. Deep breath in as you reverse your warrior. Then, exhale. Root down through that right palm, and then inhale, peel that left arm up towards the sky and open up that chest. Exhale, plant that left hand, float the left leg back, lower down one leg, chaturanga. Move through your vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog or child's pose. Deep breath in through your nose. Full complete exhale out. onto those toes. Step or jump to the front of your mat. Lift and lengthen as you inhale. Melt down as you exhale. Bend those knees, raise those arms up over your head, reach through those fingertips. One more sun B. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Hook that left elbow and twist open. Deep breath in, display those arms apart. Exhale, bring them back through the center. Inhale, chair. Exhale, prayer. Hook and twist open. Deep breath in, splay those arms. Exhale, bring those palms back together. Inhale to chair, then straighten those legs and lean back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant those hands. Come into your crow pose. Try to stay up for at least one breath. Focus on the non-moving Christy points and your gaze down toward your mat. Awesome. Exhale, step or shoot it back to your plank. Lower down. Inhale to rise up. Open that chest. Exhale, hug those hips into the air. Step your right foot to the front of your mat. Put it down on your back heel. Rise up. Come on, warriors. Let's go. Deep breath in. Exhale, soften into warrior two. Bend into that right knee. Hinge forward. Flip the palm. Reverse that warrior. Lengthen through wherever you can. Exhale. Left hand plants. Right arm peels open for dragonfly twist. Exhale. Right hand comes down. Flip that right leg back. One legged chaturanga. To your upward facing dog as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then we step that left foot to the front. Come on down with that left heel. Rise up to warrior one. Soften into warrior two, bend that knee. Hinge forward, flip the palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, 
Plant that right hand down. Peel the left arm open. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. Plant that left hand down. Float the left leg back. Lower down. One leg at one more. Inhale. Send the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale. Downward facing dog or child's pose. Deep breath in through your nose. <clears throat> Exhale, side out your mouth. Surrender that breath. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, side out. Closing your eyes. Coming back to your breath. Remembering your cues to lift and lengthen and root down in your downward facing dog. One more deep breath in here. On your next inhale, rise on up onto those toes. Exhale, make your way to the front of your mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend those knees, raise those arms up over your head, extend through those fingertips. Lift up onto your toes, get those heels off of the mat. Okay. Reach through those fingertips, keep that balance. It doesn't matter if you sway side to side, if you wobble, if you fall out of it, just try to get right back into it, okay? Deep breath in. Come higher onto those toes. Lengthen through those fingertips, reach as high as you can, and then start to bend into those knees. And come a little bit lower. Come a little bit lower. So low that you're going to almost sit down onto your heels, but keep those toes up off of the, or those heels up off of the mat. Take a deep breath in. All right, exhale, plant those heels, straighten those legs and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold again. Inhale to rise up, bring those arms over your head, reach through those fingertips. Exhale, some a sleepy he. Oh my God, take a glass of water, take a sip of water. <laughs> Whew. I am already sweating. This is definitely a summer in here. <laughs> All right, when you guys are ready, meet me in mountain pose in the front of your mat. All right, so if I remember correctly, Melanie said that challenge was accepted last night. So, <laughs> I don't know if you realize what you were getting yourself into or not, but <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna show you guys again. <laughs> All right. Nice, tall stance, the front of your mat, okay? Grow tall through the crown of your head, root down through the soles of your feet. Lift up on those kneecaps, engage those thighs. Tuck that pelvis under, engage your core, open up your chest, bring your arms down to your sides, okay? Gaze straight in front of you. Deepest breath in that you've taken all class. And when you think you've taken the last inhale, breathe in more. Expand those lungs more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then as you exhale, I want you to slowly pull your diaphragm closer towards your spine. Get every single bit of air out of your body. Even bring your hand to your belly if you need to. Keep going, keep going. Inhale, bring your hand to your chest, open that heart, feel the expansion of your lungs. Keep breathing in. Exhale, feel the contraction of your belly. Bring it towards your spine. Keep breathing out, keep going. One more time, deep breath in. Deepest run all day. Keep going. All right, exhale, slowly every bit of air out. Awesome, hands back down, next time normal breath in. Awesome, inhale, arms up, go, or arms go up to the sky, lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up, <clears throat> lengthen that spine. Exhale, plant those hands, step or jump back, top of your plank. Lower down your chaturanga. Inhale, to cobra or up dog. This is gonna be our last vinyasa, okay? So we're gonna do one of them, one more like this, and then we're gonna be done for our class, okay? So inhale, come to the top of your plank. Exhale, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, peel that chest up, open that heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Oh, how, what am I talking about? One more. So come on, top of your plank, inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, open up that chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, awesome. Inhale, right leg goes into the sky. Bend that knee, stack those hips, okay? Send that gaze underneath your left shoulder. As you exhale, bring that knee to your chest. Then cross it under to the left side of your mat. Come on to the blade side of your right foot. Peel that left arm up, fall and star. Okay, left heel goes down. Exhale, plant that left hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step that foot through to the front of your mat. Stay on the ball of your back foot. We're rising up to crescent pose. Lean back, feel the bend in your back and open up your chest. Gaze goes up past your fingertips. Exhale, so those arms back behind you. Okay, Iron Man, this is what I call it now. Okay. All right, exhale, bring that left heel down, straighten the right leg as you take a deep breath in to come into Sky Archer, lengthen through that right hand. As you exhale, bend into the right knee, with that left elbow outside that knee, bring your hands to prayer, twist open as you inhale. Okay. Go ahead and bring that right hand behind you, inhale, left arm up over your head, look over your right shoulder. Okay. Exhale, plant your back heel, come into warrior two. Okay, bring those hands behind your back. Inhale, peel the chest up, and the gaze towards the sky. Exhale, waterfall down, let your head hang heavy towards the mat. Pull that right hip back behind you, okay, and send your left hip forward. One more breath in. Okay, as you exhale, release that bind, and then we're going to come back into that twisted reverse lunge. Okay, so let the left arm come up over your head, right arm goes behind you again. Lean back and open up. Exhale, tap that knee down once. Inhale to star pose, parallel those feet. Exhale, side lunge to your left. Come onto that right heel and your left toes. Keep that chest up tall. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side lunge to your right. Okay, so now you're on your left heel and your right toes. Walk your hands to the back of your mat to come into dragonfly twist. So your right hand plants down, your left arm peels up open towards the sky. Okay, exhale, that left hand comes down, come onto that right knee. Sit back onto that right heel and straighten the left leg. Passing the splits, inhale, arms go up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Take one more deep breath in. We'll complete exhale out. Then as you inhale, come onto that right knee and that left foot. We'll know the right arm up to the sky, let it connect to your right heel. Left arm goes over your head for reverse warrior on your knee. Okay. Then as you exhale, bring those hands to the back of your mat. Tuck those right toes under. Inhale to three-legged dog on your left side. Okay. Bend that knee, stack those hips for flipping the dog. Okay. So, left foot comes down, bum comes down to the ground, inhale, that pelvis up to the sky, send that left arm over your head, gaze goes in between, or gaze goes past your fingertips. Exhale, come back through the center, knee goes to your chest, then you cross it over to the right side of your body, come down onto your back heel, inhale, right arm up for fall and start, peel that chest open. Exhale, right hand comes down, inhale, three-legged dog with your left leg up in the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the back of your mat. Okay, inhale, press and pose, lean back, feel that nice bend in your back. Exhale, swing those arms back behind you, come into Iron Man. Exhale, plant that back heel, straighten the left leg as you breathe into Sky Archer Pose. Left arm goes up over your head. As you exhale, bend into that left knee, hook that right elbow outside that left knee and come into Prayer Twist. Okay, deep breath in to open up, and that gaze over your left shoulder. Okay, then left arm goes behind you, right arm goes up as you inhale. Exhale, plant the right heel down, warrior two. Okay, bring those hands behind you, interlace those fingertips, deep breath in through your nose, lean back, open up, exhale, waterfall down. Try to pull those arms away from your body. Deep breath in. Exhale, release that bind, and then that right hand is going to come back up over your head. You're going to pivot off that back heel, and then come back into that twisted crescent lunge. Okay? 
Deep breath in. Exhale, tap any down ones. Inhale to star, parallel those feet. Exhale, side lunge to the right. Keep that chest up high. Okay, inhale to center. Exhale, side lunge to the left. Okay, walk your hands to the front of your mat. Plant your left hand down. We're inhaling to that dragonfly twist. Okay, so open up that right chest. Feel that right arm open. Exhale, come on to that left knee, straighten the right leg. We're going into half seated splits. Arms going to the sky, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, fold forward. Take a nice deep breath in here. Full complete exhale. And as you inhale, make your way into reverse warrior on your knee. Your right arm goes over your head, your left arm connects to your left heel. Exhale, hands come to the front of your mat, tuck those back toes under. Inhale, right leg into the sky. And remember, now we're adding in that flipping the dog. Okay, so flip that dog. Bring that right foot down. Bum comes to the ground first, because I want you to inhale to peel that pelvis up and then extend that arm over your head. Exhale, come back around to the front of your mat, and knee goes to your nose. Okay, cross that leg under to the left side of your body. Peel the left arm open, fall and start. Exhale, left hand comes down, right leg goes up for three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Rise up to your crescent pose, deep breath in. Exhale, iron man, open the chest, keep it nice and tall. Exhale, pivot the back heel down, rise up as you breathe into Sky Archer. Exhale, bend into that knee, hook and twist, okay? Arms come together, or palms come together. Bring the right arm behind you, inhale, left arm up over your head, look past that right shoulder. Okay, pivot the back heel down, exhale, warrior two. Hands come behind you, interlace those fingertips. Deep breath in, open the chest. Exhale, waterfall down. One more breath in. Exhale, release that bind. Okay, pivot off your back heel. Left arm goes back up. Right arm goes behind your back again. Exhale, tap that knee down. Inhale to start. Exhale, side lunge to the left. Keep that chest up high. Inhale to center. Exhale, side lunge to the right. Walk your hands to the back of the mat, coming to dragonfly twist. Peel that left arm up towards the sky. Okay, exhale, plant that left hand down. Come onto your right knee. Sit back, straighten that left leg. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. As you inhale, start to come into that reverse warrior on your knee. Left arm goes up, right arm goes back towards your right heel. Then exhale, hands come to the back of your mat, you tuck those toes under, three-legged bone in the left-hand side, so remember, whenever we're facing the back, we're always starting with our left leg. Bend that knee, flip your dog, bring your bum to the ground first as you exhale. Inhale, that pelvis up to the sky, extend that arm over your head. Exhale, come back around to the front of your mat, bring that knee to your chest. Then cross it under to the right side of your body. Put your back heel down. Fall and star as you bring that right arm up to the sky. Exhale, plant that hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step that foot through the back of your mat. We're coming into crescent pose as we take a deep breath in and bend backwards. Exhale, bring those arms back behind you. Okay, Iron Man pose. Plant that back heel, rise up to sky archer, lengthen through that left hand. Exhale, bend into that left knee, come off that back heel, hook, and twist open, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, the left arm behind you, inhale, right arm goes up over your head. Exhale, put the back heel down, warrior two. Hands come behind you, interlace them, deep breath in to lean back and open up. Exhale, fold forward. Take an extra breath here. Exhale, release that bind, come back into that twisted reverse lunge. Right arm goes up, left arm behind you. Exhale, tap the knee down. Inhale to start. Exhale, side lunge to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, side lunge to the left. Walk your hands to the back or to the front. Plant that left hand. Inhale, right arm up, dragonfly twist. Exhale, come onto that left knee. 
Straighten that right leg. Arms go up as you inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Take an extra breath here. Full complete exhale. Then as you inhale, make your way into reverse warrior on your knee. Right arm over your head. Exhale. Bring those hands back to the front of your mat. Inhale. Right leg goes into the sky for a three-legged dog. Okay? We do it one more time, okay? Okay. Bend that knee. Stack those hips. Lift that dog. Bring that bum to the ground. Inhale to your wild thing. Send that right arm up over your head. Then exhale. Come back around. Bring that knee into your chest. Cross it under the left side of your body. Come on, you know what to do. Fall and star. That left arm goes up into the sky. Maybe fold that right leg. Who knows? Exhale. Left hand comes down. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Step it through in front of your mat. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Rise up to crescent pose. Lean back and open up. Exhale. On your mat. Keep that chest up high. Okay. Plant that back heel. Straighten the right leg. Sky archer. Lengthen through that right side body. Exhale. Bend into that right knee. Hook and twist open. Deep breath in to lengthen that spine. Exhale. Right arm behind you. Left arm up in the sky. Exhale. Warrior two. Bend into that right knee. Arms go behind you. Interlace those fingers. Breathe in. Open up. Exhale. Fold forward. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Release that bind. Left arm goes up over your head. Put it off the back heel. Right arm back behind you again. Exhale. Tap the knee down. Inhale. The star. Side lunge it to the left. Come back to center. I feel good you it today. Side lunge it to the right. Come to the back of your mat for dragonfly twist. Inhale that left arm up to the sky. Exhale. Hand comes down. Knee comes down. Straighten that left leg. Have a seat on that heel. Bring those arms up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. One extra breath here. Put your resting pose. <laughs> inhale. Reverse that warrior on your knee. Connect that right hand to the heel. Left arm. Way over your head, look past those left fingertips. Exhale, bring those hands to the back of your mat, tuck those toes under. Inhale, three-legged dog. Bend that knee, stack those hips, flip that dog, bring that bum to the ground. Inhale, that pelvis up, look over your left arm, wild thing. Exhale, come back through the center, knee goes towards your chest. Cross it under, right side of your body. Right heel comes down, open up that right arm, fall and start. Maybe you try to float that left leg this time. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm, left leg in the stack. Exhale, step it through to the back of your mat, rise up to crescent pose. Exhale, send those arms back behind you, but keep that chest lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant that back heel. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, bend into that left knee. Come off that back heel, hook and twist. Breathe in. Exhale, left arm behind you. Inhale, right arm over your head. Lean back. Exhale, pivot that back heel down, warrior two. Hands come behind you, interlace. Look up to the sky, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, fold forward. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, release the bind, pivot off that back heel again, let that right arm drag to the back of the mat and raise it up over your head, left arm behind you. Exhale, tap that knee down. Inhale to start. Exhale, you know, side lunge to the right. Inhale to center, and then side lunge to the left. Walk your hands to the front, drag and fly twist, bend into that right knee, open up that right arm. Exhale. Bring that right hand down, come onto that left knee. Sit back onto that heel. Half seat is split. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, fold forward. One more full breath in. All right, come on to that left knee. Right heel. Make your way into reverse warrior on that knee. Open up that right side. Bring that right arm over your head. Exhale. Windmill those hands to the front of your mat. Inhale. Right leg goes into the sky. 
Exhale, shift your weight forward, keep that right leg in the sky for one legged plank. Push through those hands, push through the heel of your right foot, keep that right leg straight. Okay, I know your left leg is burning right now, just hold it here for three more breaths. Deep inhale. Two more breaths and you can do it. One more. Go ahead and bring that right toes down. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg in the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift that weight forward. Okay, one-legged plank. Okay, push through that left heel. We're staying here for five full breaths. Keep that core engaged. Push through the palms of your hands. Keep that left leg straight. Three more breaths, you can do it. Two more, come on, don't give up on yourself. One more breath in. All right, exhale, bring that foot down to the mat. Lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, peel that chest up, open that heart. Exhale, squeeze those knees. Let those heels kiss, child's pose. Deep breath in through your nose. Full complete exhale, out your mouth. Another surrender breath here, inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Maybe one more, just find your breath if you happen to lose it. Okay. All right, go ahead and bring your right hand back towards your right heel. Okay. As you inhale, I want you to bring your left arm up over your head. Push your pelvis forward. We're trying to do a couple swinging camels. So let your head drop back in between your shoulders. Left arm over your head. Exhale, bring that left arm back down. Connect it to your left heel. Let your forehead hit the mat. Inhale, right arm comes up over your head. Push that pelvis forward. Lean back. Let your head drop in between your shoulders. Exhale, bring it back around. Okay, left arm goes up this time, deep inhale, okay, push through your pelvis, open up the entire front of your body, exhale, come on back down, inhale, right arm goes up, lean back, open up, exhale, come on back down, one more time on either side, inhale, left arm, really open up, okay, be organic with your movements, okay? Just let your body flow however it feels necessary. Awesome. Bring those hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up into tabletop pose. Let's do a couple of drunken cat cows, okay? So as you inhale, that gaze and those hip bones go up towards the sky and your belly drops down towards your mat. As you exhale, you tuck that chin, you arch that spine, but then you just kind of do whatever your body is feeling like it needs right now. Maybe it's some hip rolls, okay? Maybe it's some shoulder rolls, whatever you think you need. Just link your breath with your movement. Inhale to lengthen that spine. Open up that heart. Exhale, tucking the chin, rounding that spine, maybe coming down onto the other side for those hip rolls and those shoulder rolls. Whatever you think you need right now, and just Make that movement nice and fluid, okay? Make a couple more breaths here. Okay, when you're ready, come back into a neutral spine. Tabletop pose, okay? Deep breath in through your nose. Full complete exhale, step those knees together, come onto that right uh, hip and swing those legs around to the front of your mat. Okay. Let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and extend through the soles of those feet. Okay, we're gonna come into Dandasana right now, all right? So I want you to root down through those sit bones. Okay, push through those heels. Okay, flex those feet. 
nice tall uh, torso here. Grow tall through the crown of your head. All right. Hands come down towards your sides. Lift up. Flex those feet so much that your that your ankles and your and your uh, calves lift up off of the mat. Okay. Deep breath in through your nose. So lengthen through that spine. Look up towards the sky. As you exhale, I want you to tuck that chin and push away from the mat through your hands. Okay, keep, you have all three bandhas engaged now, okay? You have that, your pelvis is tilted under, your core is engaged, your chin is tucked towards your chest. Okay, keep that nice strong stance, keep those heels, you know, flexed. Stay in this pose, deep breath in through your nose. Full, complete exhales. The last two breaths, I want you to try to lift those hands up off the mat. It'll force you to grow taller through the crown of your head. Last breath in. Exhale, release those hands down, release those heels down. Awesome. All right, go ahead and bring those hands behind your back. We're either going to come into Yogi's Choice. You're going to come into Reverse Cable or Reverse Plank, okay? So if you are in Reverse Cable, doesn't matter where your fingers, you know, face, okay? Whatever's most comfortable for you in your wrists, all right? Uh, soles of your feet are rooted down into the mat. As you inhale, you're going to lift that pelvis up towards the sky and try to keep it parallel to the floor beneath you. Head drops in between your shoulders. Okay, stay up here for five breaths. If you're in reverse plank, your legs are straight, your toes are pointing down towards the mat. You don't have to make the connection, but you need to engage your glutes to lift your Draw your torso up towards the sky. Once you hit five breaths, I want you to slowly come on back down, bring that seat down onto the mat. Okay? Inhale those, extend those legs out if you were into tabletop. Bring those arms up over your head, reach through those fingertips, pull that torso out of your sit bones. Exhale, hinge forward, bring those hands behind your feet or grab your big toes, whatever is easier for you, okay? Deep breath in to lengthen through that spine, lift up, okay? Exhale, bend the elbows, pull yourself forward first, okay? Then when you can't go any farther, you round that spine and let your head be heavy towards your legs. Deep inhale through your nose. Pull from the exhale out. Nice deep breath into the entire chain of your spine right here. Full, complete exhales, nice and slow. And remember, when you breathe in, I want you to lengthen in between each one of your vertebrae, okay? Feel the movement, okay? Feel the benefit that you're doing for your body right now just by breathing and lengthening. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen that spine. Exhale, release that spine, come back into a nice tall seat. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring the sole of our right foot into our left thigh. Okay. If you have an issue with bending your knee, then bring your right leg out so you're at an L shape. Okay. Um, if you're at an L shape, I still want you to square your hips off over your straight left leg. Okay. So. Once you're straight off, you're still flexing that left foot, okay? Deep breath in, you're rooting down through your sit bones. You're lengthening through the crown of your head to lift that torso up out of your sit bones. Arms go high into the sky. Hinge forward as you exhale. Hands go place wherever they fall, whether it's on your shin, your ankle, or around the back of your foot. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend those elbows, pull yourself forward, then round down. Try to keep your torso over your left leg. It'll help to open up your lower back and your right hip and stretch that IT band. Okay, whatever you do, I want you to relax your head down, let it hang heavy towards your leg. But still keep that left foot flexed if you can. And then take a nice deep breath in through your nose and send that breath where you need it most, right into that right hip. And right into that lower back. Open it up, lengthen it, create space for yourself. And one more breath in here. Full complete exhale out. As you 
inhale, come halfway up and lengthen that spine. Exhale, release the bind and sit all the way up, nice tall spine. And release that right leg out in front of you, straighten it back out again. Bring that left foot into your right thigh or straighten that leg out to the left so you're in that L shape, okay? Remember, spread those hips off over your straight right leg, okay? Rooting down through both sit bones, okay? Try not to hike one up higher than the other, all right? Deep breath in, lengthen through the crown of your head, bring those arms over your head, reach through those fingertips. Exhale, hinge forward, let your hands um, meet wherever they do, on your leg or on your foot. Inhale to lengthen that spine. Exhale, bend those elbows, pull yourself forward, then round that spine and bring your head down towards your leg. Okay. Nice deep breath in through your nose, send that breath right into that left hip. Lengthen your lower back, lengthen that IT band, get that space, create you know, that lubrication of your joints. I want you to lengthen those muscles, hydrate them, break down that fascia. Nice deep breath in. Full complete exhale out. Remember, the more your torso is squared up over your straight leg, the deeper the benefit you're going to have with that stretch in your left hip and your lower back. And inhale, halfway up, lengthen that spine. Exhale, release the bind and come up to a nice tall seat. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring our legs out to a wide-legged stance. Okay. All right, deep breath in through your nose, root down through your sit bones. Kind of like, I want you to kind of like, I don't even know how to explain this, but I want you to like, I don't want you to tuck your pelvis under. I want you to kind of lean forward and kind of push your pelvis out if that makes any sense, okay? Push your pelvis out as you open up your the inner part of your thighs, okay? Then lift up and straighten that torso, lengthen that torso. Then you slightly tuck that pelvis under and engage your core, okay? So basically, you are doing the opposite movement first to open up the insides of your legs, okay, and to help to lengthen like your hamstrings. Then we are tucking under to lengthen our spine, okay? All right, so inhale those arms up to the sky, reach through, lift up, exhale, hinge forward, bring those hands down, okay? Maybe you come onto your forearms, okay? All right, and then just relax. Relax your toes, relax those kneecaps. Try not to engage those knees, okay? I don't want you to engage those thighs. I want you just to like relax down, almost like a yin pose now, okay? Keep your neck in line with your spine. So send that gaze down towards your mat. And just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And send that breath right where you need it, okay? Into those hip flexors, okay? Lengthening those hamstrings, opening up those inner thighs. Okay. They feet are not flexed, they're just relaxed now. And you're also opening up that low back ever so slightly. As you inhale, try to lengthen through that spine. Okay, reach to the crown of your head. Try to lean yourself a little bit more forward to get some more space to open up those hips a little bit more. Okay. One more breath in here. Full complete exhale. All right, inhale, slowly come all the way up. Okay, bring the soles of your feet together, bend those knees, okay? Before we come into this bottom of the mask, I want you to bring those hands behind your back, okay? About a foot behind your hips. Doesn't matter which way your fingers are facing, okay? Make sure that you're rooting down for your sit bones. Deep breath in through your nose, drop your head in between your shoulders, look up towards the sky, open up that heart and get that gentle bend in that curve in your back. Nice inhale here, expand that heart. Create that space around that heart and open up. One more. All right, go ahead 
and then bring your head back through the center slowly. Lift yourself up, okay? Let's bring our hands around the blade sides of our feet. Nice tall spine. We're doing A and B here. So when you inhale, I want you to lengthen through that spine. As you exhale, we're only pivoting at that waist. So we're opening up our low back and opening up our hips. Take those elbows, push them into your calves, okay? Just come forward about two, three, four inches, depending on how you know limber you are. Gaze is down at your mat, so your neck is in line with your spine. But you're still lengthening through the crown of your head as you inhale, okay? You're gonna feel yourself lifting and growing another inch taller as you breathe in to lengthen that spine and create that space in between each one of your vertebrae to help open up your lower back, okay? And then as you exhale, you push a little bit more into those legs with those elbows to open up those hips. Stay here for two more breaths. One more deep inhale through your nose. Full complete exhale. And then as you inhale, slowly come up, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, bring those arms around to the front of your legs and then round your spine and let your head hang heavy down towards your toes. Okay. Maybe tuck that chin towards your chest. And then take a nice deep breath into the entire chain of your spine. I want you to feel your back getting massaged as you breathe in, like as those lungs, you know, Press against those ribs, okay? As your ribs press against those muscles to help lengthen the back and open up those vertebrae. Deep inhales through your nose. Full, complete exhales out. Okay, let those ribs hug into your lungs as you exhale. Let them expand and open up as you breathe in. Awesome job. On your next inhale, slowly come up. Nice, tall spine. Extend those legs out in front of you. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring those arms up over our head. Reach through those fingertips. Lengthen through the crown of our head. Pull that torso up and out. Exhale, bring those arms down to your sides. Keep that length in your spine. Okay, another time, deep breath in through your nose, reach through those fingertips, lengthen even more. Keep that length, exhale, bring those arms down to your sides. One more time, deep breath in, reach as high as you can, grow as tall as you can. Exhale, bring those arms parallel to the floor beneath you and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, make your way down onto your mat, letting your head be the last thing that hits the ground. Then those arms come over your head. You point those toes. You reach through those fingertips. You get that nice full body stretch. Okay, then hug those knees into your chest. Bring those arms around your shins. Pull them in. Rock side to side. Massage that tailbone. Okay, then bring the soles of your feet up towards the sky and turn into happy baby. Grab your Place as your feet with your hand. Pull those knees into your underarms. And then continue to rock side to side and massage the entire length of your spine out. Okay? Just working on that fascia right now here. With a little mini melt class. Awesome. All right, go ahead and release that spine. Keep those legs into the air, but just bend at the knees again. Bring those arms up to your sides. Go ahead and take a breath in through your nose. As you exhale, let those knees drop over to the right side of your mat. Keep that left shoulder grounded. Bend that gaze over your left shoulder or up towards the sky. I want you to come back to a nice natural breathing rhythm now. And no need to engage that ujjayi breath anymore. No need to engage any muscle activity. I just want you to relax down into this pose in the mouth. Okay, 
the more you surrender yourself into this twist, the more benefit you're gonna get out of the pose. So just relax your muscles and just let yourself be heavy for another breath. All right, go ahead and bring those knees back up to center so that you can gently let them come over to the left side of your body this time. Make sure that that right shoulder stays down on the mat. Gaze either goes up towards the sun or over your right arm. And remember, natural breathing rhythm here, relaxing into the pose, surrendering, and melting down. No muscle engagement whatsoever. As if you just fell asleep like this. Which is very possible for me right now. <laughs> One more breath in. All right, as you inhale, bring those knees back through the center. Maybe give them one more hug. And then slowly straighten those legs and let them come to the front corners of your mat. Arms are down at your side, palms are facing up. Nice deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, sigh out your mouth. Close your eyes and take breath. Shavasana. Begin to bring some movement back into your physical body. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Turning your head from side to side. Bringing those arms up over your head and pointing those toes for one more full body stretch. And bringing those knees into your chest, wrapping those arms around your shins. And when you are ready, rolling onto your right side, using your arm as a pillow to gently blanket your head. Staying here for another breath or two. And when you are ready, leading with your heart, gently pressing yourself up to a nice, comfortable seat at the front of your mat. Eyes remaining closed, hands at heart center. Thanking yourself for taking the time out of your day to come onto your mat. To nourish your body, your mind, and your soul, one breath and one asana at a time. Having gratitude for all that you are and all that you have in this life and anything you can and will become by believing in yourself and knowing that you can do anything you put your mind to as long as you have control over your breath. One more time together, deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, sigh out your mouth. 
Thank you guys so much for letting me guide you through your practice this morning. May the light and me honor the light in each and every one of you. Namaste, my friends.